welcome to Brothers of the Word, because brother, you need the Word. And today is actually Mother's Day. It is one of the most celebrated holidays in America and now in many countries around the world. And oftentimes on particular holidays, I don't preach a message that is traditionally in line with the holiday. And today's message is an extension of what I began three weeks ago. I preached a message entitled, Get Off of Your Behind. It was message number 5473. And at the end of that message, the message talked about how oftentimes we struggle with so many things that are behind us. And until we can learn how to get off of the things that are behind us, that hold us back, that hinder us, that keep us from reaching the destiny that God would have us to reach until we can let go of the past and to move away from the things, the negative things that are behind us, we'll never get to our future. So that's what the message, Get Off of Your Behind, dealt with. But at the end of that message, I told you about how I have, I'm taking classes now, working on my doctorate degree. And in the last two classes that I had taken, they had talked about there was one particular technique. And this one technique was the best technique. It was the only thing that really worked for helping people to get over trauma and tough situations of their past. And I told you that in my next message, message number 5475, I would tell you what this method was. Well, it's been three weeks. You see, the, actually, the next message was a message that I preached. It was the first biblical Sunday, and I preach a health message. And that message was entitled The Declaration. And it had to do with making the declaration of telling God and people publicly that I was now prepared and willing to make the sacrifice of whatever it would take to take us to the level of where we would have the 4,200-seat sanctuary. And how that declaration related to health was that whenever you make a public declaration, it changes some things. And, and I didn't realize that before I would stand back in the pulpit again after that declaration, God would even change the way that I looked externally. See, when you declare some things, some stuff will change. When you speak it openly, with force, with power and conviction, and when you are prepared to follow through, sometimes things will instantly begin to change into your world. So here I am, standing dressed in all white, and this is the way that I will be dressed. There's a long story behind it. And if you want to read the story, just go to the online word and click handouts. And there under handouts, you'll be able to click and read the story simply called White Clothing. And it talks about the entire saga of what went on in terms of why I'm dressed now in all white. But there was a reason why when I spoke to you, the one thing that I would tell you on this message, the one thing that the psychologists, the psychiatrists, even the Christian counselors have determined that it is this one thing that is most helpful in helping people to get over their past and to get over trauma. And sometimes I had to wonder, why did I have to wait three weeks? Because the declaration was the next message. After that, we had a guest speaker. And after that, I was in China. So it's been three weeks since I've been back to even deliver to you what this one thing is. But now I understand why the delay was necessary. Because it is not just to tell you what the thing is but to give you a solution of how to utilize and utilize the power of the thing. Today is Mother's Day, and it represents a birthing of a new thing. Mothering is not necessarily female, because sometimes men have to birth some things. So mothering in its 
true natural essence is the birth of something that has not existed before. And today I'm going to tell you about something that has not existed before within this church that we're going to birth today. And the one thing that universally helps people, that heals them, that allows them to get over all the pain and the hurt and the trauma that they've experienced in the past, the one thing that does this that all of the psychiatrists agree on, that all of the psychologists, all of the medical science points to. And it is what the Christian counselors and even most pastors have found. The one thing more than any other thing that helps you to get over trauma and hurt and pain of your past, that one thing is to be able to talk about it. But there is a problem with the solution. Because even though medical science understands the power when people can open up and talk, even though pastors understand the power of when people can just open up and talk, there is still a problem with talking. The Bible says in James, beginning with the fifth chapter, the 14th verse, Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. That's what we do when God heals. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. And verse 16 says, in the fifth chapter of James, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The Bible says, confess your faults to one another and pray ye for one another that ye may be healed. The Bible basically says, talk about this stuff to somebody. That's the solution that the Bible gives. That's the solution all of the experts know, but there is a problem with that solution. First of all, if you go to a professional, it's going to cost you a whole lot of money. That's the first problem. Most people don't have it in their budget for $150 an hour counseling session, just pure and simple. It just costs too much money. That's the first problem. So if you don't go to a professional and you talk about it to your friend, you have another problem. And that problem is, to be perfectly honest, you don't want folk knowing your business. And, and that's not the real issue. See, if you really have a close friend, it's not that you have a problem particularly with a real close friend knowing your business. The problem is oftentimes your close friend can't keep your business close. So as I pondered over this, fundamentally we are instituting a program here at the Ark of Salvation where you can have somebody to talk to. And it's being birthed on this Mother's Day Today. You see, some of you even, some of you, you can't even tell your stuff to your mother. Some of you, the problem is with your mother. So some of you, your mother is no longer here on earth. And, and I've, I've talked to people when they have lost their mother to death. And they'll just say, I miss talking with my mother. And some of you, you don't have anyone who you can truly talk with. And we're instituting today a program here at the Ark of Salvation, and the program is called Private Talk. And for those of you who are watching or listening electronically, Private Talk is available to you also. You can go to privatetalk.com because in many organizations there's simply no one for you to talk to. Well, now you've got someone who will listen and who can advise at privatetalk.com.